Thanks, Rick. A local war hero's demonstration of patriotism could get him into trouble in his very own neighborhood. But tonight, this Medal of Honor recipient says he won't back down. Andy Jenks has his story now out of Henrico County. The Colonel Van T. Barfoot, Kurt is a rock star among veterans. In World War II, he once took 17 enemy fighters captive and saved the lives of two of his own men. Now he's in another fight to keep a flagpole in front of his house. When Colonel Van T. Barfoot raises the American flag, it's a special moment in a life that's full of them. One of the most beautiful things we've got outside. It really is. In 1944, as a 25-year-old, he received the military's highest award, the Medal of Honor. That makes him now, at age 90, a living legend. To put that in perspective, when Colonel Barfoot attends a Veterans Day service, he's the only one to receive a standing ovation. So when he was told that flying his American flag this way could lead to a fine of up to $10 a day, it was all so confusing. To tell me that I can't fly that now after 90 years is a little bit uh, more than I can really just sit back and take it. Colonel Barfoot and the homeowners board where he lives are at odds. The bylaws don't permit flagpoles. Most neighbors just attach flags to the front of their houses. But the colonel doesn't believe in flying the flag any other way. His daughter wrote the board, hoping for a one-time exception. I presented the one and only exception that I thought would never, ever happen again, and that was having a Medal of Honor recipient living in this community. The request was politely denied. The colonel raised his flag anyway. That's my dad. <laughs> He's never uh, run from a fight in the past and he's not going to run from this one. He says it will stay that way for as long as he lives in the house. I feel that I've earned the right to have it fly regardless of what they say. The board has thanked Colonel Barfoot for his bravery and service to the country but maintains that the flagpole is against a long-standing neighborhood policy. If the fines actually do come down, several other people have offered to pay them. Andy Jenks, NBC 12.